What's up you guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we are in the Bielsko Biała area to explore the hiking trails of Szynjelnia. Szynjelnia. There you go guys. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do this. So one of the main reasons why we came to Bielsko Biała was to come here and explore all of the amazing nature that is around it and to get out here it is super super simple. You can take a bus or you can download the app called Bolt and you can take a taxi. And that's what we did. We ended up paying just around four euro to get out here. Um, the taxi app is called Bolt. Um, we highly recommend you guys to download that if you are in Poland because super convenient, very, very cheap to get around. You can also take bus number eight from the center of Bielsko Biała and it will bring you out here as well. We're very excited to check out this nature. So we took the taxi, as I was saying, um, to a place called Sigansky Las and it turns out because we wanted or we want to take the gondolas or the cable cars up to the mountain areas and it turns out that from Sigansky Las if you want to take the cable cars it is an extra like 45 minutes to walk to the cable cars so you have an option from Sigansky Las you can do the entire hike which is roughly around two hours it shouldn't be that difficult at all to get up to the mountains or you can walk for around 40-45 minutes through like residential area and then you end up here where you can get the cable cars <laughs> Just one way, just up. <laughs> All right, guys, so we got our tickets. What was the cost for it? Uh, it was 58 swati for two people. And I had my sentence perfectly laid out as to how I'm going to order these tickets. And obviously she had a question and I had no idea what she was saying. So <laughs> English it was, unfortunately. Yeah, we're just going to go up in the cable cars and then we're gonna walk our way back down. So we're excited to show you guys this beautiful nature here. We just arrived up on the hill, um, the air already feels a lot fresher and I think a little bit colder as well. Um, I'm not too sure how high up we are. Do you know the altitude of here? I have no idea, but I'm going to check on Google. And, uh, <laughs> We're going to let you know. <laughs> we'll pop it up here on the screen just how high we are. Bing! There you go. <laughs> Okay, so we're up here and um, there was a Polish family with us in the cable car and they said that this tower here behind us is actually new. So we're just gonna go up first things first to see how nice it is up there Let's and do the, it. the view is probably gonna be amazing. So for that um, newly built viewpoint there when we arrived in the cable cars, you actually just have to pay a little bit extra and we're actually not too sure how much extra that is because we are just too excited to get on our way up to Shinjelnia. Um, all of this walking just to get to the cable car. And now we think we have around a 15 minute walk more up to this beautiful mountain. Just down where the cable car kind of brings you up and we got off, there seems to be like this really fun barbecue sort of setup happening. A um, few guys, nice barbecue, lots of sausage and meat and stuff like that. And a lot of people are just kind of chilling there, drinking some beer in the sunshine. That is something that I can definitely see myself doing. This place here is absolutely stunning. It's just nature on top of nature. You have really kind of stony right now walkway. If you can see here where Naomi is walking and it's kind of like a forest path and we just kind of marked ourselves for Shinjelnia on the map and apparently when you get to the actual peak itself you have like 360 views over this entire area so we're very excited to see that can't wait to see it We made our way up. As I was just saying, we were just walking through this kind of like little narrow forest track. And it's only just kind of a quick five, six minute walk 
until you reach this destination, which is basically like somewhat of a viewpoint over God knows what. I've no idea what we're currently looking at, but there seems to be like a bit of a village or like a town down here on the left. There's a big lake over in the distance as well and it is a jaw-dropping view it's absolutely just beautiful uh, the nature here and the cost of the cable car and everything that's involved in getting here is certainly worth it i can see why so many people if you can see behind me there's a lot of people that are uh, up here just sitting chilling taking it in enjoying the nature they come here with their children you see a lot of people taking mountain bikes and coming up here and just spending the weekend enjoying nature and getting out into the great outdoors there's nothing better for you and for your soul just to kind of relax realign yourself and get your head straight this is beautiful it's uh, really beautiful to see how many people are up here and are actually taking the time to go hiking. It really seems like um, Polish people appreciate the nature and even take the time with their families or you can even see teenagers up here um, just kind of enjoying the nature or maybe doing a little bit of like downhill mountain biking and all of that stuff. So um, I do think it's absolutely amazing that there are so many people here appreciating the nature. By the way, we just opened Google Maps real quick there. Um, um, from this viewpoint, you look onto the city of Meshna. Um, we haven't been there, but it looks so idyllic. So um, I think it's probably worth visiting. You can see all of these little houses with the red roofs in the distance. So I assume that that town is probably really, really nice. Up here, we've already seen um, three kind of restaurants slash barbecue or bar type of places. So if you do come up here, you're certainly not short of options of where to go in case you didn't bring any food or maybe in case you're short of water or beer or whatever it might be. <laughs> um, so up here you definitely have a lot of options to uh, just enjoy yourself, enjoy a kielbasa or maybe somewhat of that smoked cheese uh, as well. We just saw a sign there um, that the peak of another mountain is not that far away. Um, it's called the Klimchok mountain with the C and the Z. I hope I pronounced that one right. <laughs> Klimchok. Klimchok. Um, anyway, it's not that far away, so we're going to take the time and check then that one out as well and then maybe make our way down back slowly, see what happens in the video. <laughs> maybe we're gonna find another man, you never know. <laughs> A lot of times with our YouTube channel, we're always kind of torn in between about making these types of nature videos because we've been told by quite a few people that nature is just boring and you know not a lot of people want to see this type of stuff nature and history you know a lot of people usually crave the uh, cities and the you know holiday sort of must visit destinations but in our eyes somewhere like this that is certainly off the beaten path. Bielsko Biała and these beautiful mountain peaks and the cable car and all of that wrapped in together. These are the type of places that you definitely have to experience. And until you do, you just won't be able to grasp the sheer beauty that a lot of European nature has to offer. Places like Bavaria in Germany, places in the awesome. south, in the Mediterranean, the Camino Walk in Spain, for example, Austria, many other European countries. They just have this jaw-dropping, astonishingly green, beautiful forest walks in nature and mountains. And that is severely underappreciated when you compare it to the cities such as Vienna, Berlin, uh, Warsaw, Krakow, etc, etc. The list could go on for days, but yeah, guys, get out in nature. We just saw a guy uh, cycling past us with an e-bike and he was just like really comfortable cycling up the hill, like doo -doo -doo -doo. nothing happened, you know. And then we just saw this group of Polish people cycling past without an e-bike and then you actually see how difficult it is. Um, I did these types of things myself, kind of in the south of Germany before and going up the hill, you're just like, why do I do this to myself? It's a 
horrible, like the most horrible situation you could be in. But then going down, it's all worth it. So uh, every single time, it's kind of like with drinking alcohol. If you had too much, you're like, I'm never gonna do it again. And then two weeks pass and you're like, let's do it again. It's Christmas tree central out here. <laughs> so we just came across a really adorable little lizard and um, we stopped because it was kind of running across our path. So we just stopped walking and then it thought that I was a tree and it proceeded to try and climb up my leg. That was a really strange experience because I had like the knee jerk reaction where I just like kicked my leg out and I just sent the lizard kind of flying away. But he's okay. He landed perfectly and then he just wandered into the forest. So, but that was a very unique experience. <laughs> we do for this YouTube channel. Uh, the hike up to the Klimchok is very steep, very sweaty, very hot. A lot of people are taking breaks. Um, you know the way a lot of YouTube channels only show you the positive and nice side of the journey where you just get the viewpoint. Uh, here you get the real deal. If you guys are appreciative of the efforts that we are putting in to make these videos, hit that red subscribe button. We're getting closer and closer to 5,000 subs. And our goal is to hit 5,000 by the end of June. So let's go share this video with everybody you know right now. Thanks guys. We're just actually about to reach the top of Klimzok oh as well. Oh my God, this looks insane. Oh, wow. Yeah. This definitely was worth the extra, what, 25, 30 minutes of walking. This viewpoint here is so stunning. It seems like in the winter time um, it is used for skiing, but from here in the distance you can see another restaurant that really looks like it's worth it going to. Uh, it kind of looks like, you know, the type of place where it's like um, farm to fork basically, so like directly. Like it doesn't get any fresher than that probably. And then in the distance you can see another peak and even a little ski jumping ramp like in Zakopane as well. Um, I think this viewpoint here is so stunning. So it's definitely worth going all the way to the next peak. Another big reason why we make these types of videos alongside the other types of videos that we make such as, you know, these destination types of videos where we go into a city such as Bielsko Biała and we give you guys kind of a breakdown or an impression of what we think. And then we give you information that we think will be useful to you when you're watching the video. Videos such as this one right here, it is really just to inspire as many people as possible to break away from the everyday comforts that we're all used to in this life, such as your TV, for example, over consuming certain things, whether that's food, TV, um, different types of information streams as well. It's just basically to remind you guys, get out in nature with your family, with whoever, even if it's just on your own. Be silent really beautiful and you leave always feeling much better than when you are initially thinking about going the initial thought of coming to somewhere like this is probably you know oh I have to do X amount of walking or X amount of whatever activity and it's probably gonna weigh you down mentally thinking about it but once you get out in the nature once you get to the forest once you get to the lake wherever it is that you're going i guarantee you you'll feel a hell of a lot better when you're done okay guys so we um kind of ticked off klimzok and uh zinjelnia shenjelnia 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 we ticked both of those off of our list now and we considered making our way down by foot 
but time wise and weather wise it is really hot um, so we're going to be taking the cable car back down we're really lazy today um, time wise it's just as one well. of those days <laughs> yeah it is really just one of those days we're super super hungry but nonetheless we thoroughly enjoyed this experience um, the views from these mountains are just unbelievable and 100% guys if you are planning a trip to Bielsko Biała definitely add this to your must do list um, for sure if you're into hiking definitely put Zakopane on your list and Bielsko Biała because both of those places are just stunning the nature is just absolutely <laughs> beautiful and if you're into skiing as well it looks like both of those areas are skiing territory as well yeah yeah true um, I told my stepdad my stepdad is from Zeshov and I told him that we were making our way to Bielsko Biała and he basically said that it's kind of almost it is like Zakopane just like a little bit lesser known than Zakopane um, but we are so so glad that we came here because it has been worth every single second now we're gonna try and get a cable car hopefully to ourselves there's a lot of people that are waiting currently to get on the cable cars so we're just kind of standing here and letting time pass hopefully we can get a cable car to ourselves and we can have a little bit of a chat about the amazing views on the way down so yeah. let's go so we're just off the cable cars now unfortunately we did not get a private one because there was so many people just queuing and people were literally jumping into the cable cars. Like we sat in one and then straight away, three more people just came in on top of us. It is a sunny uh, Sunday after all. So you have to consider the weather. It has been raining for a week and today is kind of the second nice day here in Bielsko Biała. So I do think a lot of people are just trying to get out of their apartment and enjoy the sun. Yeah, for sure. Um, wow, what an experience, what a day. I think in total we have been out and about here for around four hours or so, four or five hours. And we've enjoyed every single second. So we are back down now, kind of at where we started. And we're going to slowly make our way back now towards Bielsko Biała. Yeah, we will have to walk the three kilometers, I think back yeah. to that forest and then see if we can catch either a bus or a taxi we'll see what happens yeah not yeah. sure yet as we said earlier that app bolt super convenient um thankfully we downloaded that app earlier because it saved us a lot of time a lot of stress and a lot of having to figure out where the buses go from and stuff like that i'm sure it's super straightforward but for us actually typically we usually travel around with buses and public transport but taxi for something like this is always very handy today we were just treating ourselves with the taxi and with the cable car so we had an easy life today <laughs> yeah today was an easy day for sure and um, we're very grateful that we did what we did today because a lot of a lot of people recommended this to us a lot of polish people recommended this exact thing to us and um yeah, we're very, very thankful for that. As I said, we're going to make our way back. It is currently coming up to 4 p.m. Neither of us have had any food yet. So all I've had is a coffee and a bunch water. of water. Coffee and a bunch of water, yeah. So we're going to make our way back now and hopefully get some grub. I think as soon as we get home, we will make some nice sausages and eggs because if you know Poland, you know they do love their sausages and no matter where you go in every supermarket you can buy just the most amazing and the tastiest sausages. So we have like an entire fridge full of that and uh, tomorrow we're actually leaving to go to the next place. So uh, we will have to empty, empty out our fridge and <laughs> eat all of the sausages and I think about 10 eggs. So we're gonna have a big meal when we get home. Oh and speaking as well about the next place we want you guys to guess down below in the comments where are we going next now i know poland is a big country so i'm going to give you a hint it's north um obviously right now we're pretty much on the border with czech republic so we're going to be making our way further north into poland so i want you guys to guess down below where exactly it is that we're going to go and if you do get it right we will give you a mention in our very first video from that location 
Okay, you guys, we are close to our accommodation now, back in Bielsko Biała. Um, I think overall today was really, really beautiful. And I think it's so, so stunning as well that when you are in the city of Bielsko Biała, you would actually not think that these stunning mountains are anywhere close by. Yeah, it was an incredible day and we hope that we inspired you guys to get outside to the great outdoors and experience some nature. But for now, my name is Luke. My name is Naomi. We're the two Mad Explorers. And this is your reminder to keep exploring. Ciao guys. Thanks for watching. Bye bye. Thanks very much for watching this video. We just launched our community, our channel memberships here on YouTube. So if you want to be part of this community, make sure to check out the benefits and perks down below. All of this is only possible because of you guys and with your support, we will be able to keep going for a lot longer.